News for the motor trailers winding their way to another homestead lunch. Sometimes the road ahead isn't all that smooth though. The entrants can find themselves facing numerous challenges. And the next one, finding the nearest car wash. But before the car wash, it's an all too familiar situation for the Ford Dexian racing team. After getting the regular troublemakers out of trouble, lunch was served at Lammermoor Homestead, complete with music, a spot of golf, and some aerial acrobatics from the hosts, which included slicing a falling toilet roll in half. It could only happen in the country. Oh, he's good. He does a lot of different driving. Do a lot of driving. I'm the photographer and the navigator and don't turn the right pages <laughs> and yes, yes, I keep losing the biro <laughs> and somebody, all our local mayor said blue tack on the dashboard and I thought wow that's good but every now and then I forget to put the biro on the blue tack. <laughs> with the entrance bellies full it was time to make tracks and with this sort of terrain it's not uncommon to lose a tyre. Peter and Kevin in the backup vehicle make sure no one gets left behind. Uh, depending on what the incident is, something fairly simple like this, um, we can stand back and look and have a bit of a laugh and help the people enjoy themselves. And I'm a reasonably good bush mechanic. I can get most things going and if I can't I just use brute force and ignorance and tow it. Arriving in Richmond, the motor trail was welcomed by the Townsville 1 RAR Army Band and another donation is made to the local state school presented by Motor Trail entrance sponsor Wayne Lamont of Lamont Constructions. The Just For Kids Motor Trail continues, but this day begins with an ancient history lesson. Richmond is big on dinosaur fossils and Chronosaurus Corner provides an insight into what life must have been like before the motor trail was invented. Sean and Alison are a motor trailing family and the kids appreciate a break from the car. the second time we've done it. We did it last year and, and yeah. the kids love it. They have a ball. They, the, there's lots of things to see and do and, and things that people, other kids will never see. I mean the kids have got colouring in and, and drawing and they've got diaries and the car's got a DVD player in it so they, they fight over who's watching a movie and whose choice it is to, to pick a movie. So. But yeah, no, they have a lot of fun. So. And seeing, like stopping in all the small towns and seeing where the money goes and, and that, it's, yeah, it's a very rewarding experience. Yeah. A bugle fanfare signifies the start of another day's travelling with Julia Creek, the nightfall destination. The Blue Heeler Hotel at Kainuna is the lunch stop and it's someone's birthday. And don't forget your birthday hat when you leave or it could end up here. That's not a pub, this is a pub. Just down the road is the Walkabout Creek Hotel, famous for that movie and for quenching the motor trailer's thirst. We hadn't actually done the motor trail before. It wasn't something that we really knew much about. And, and this particular one is is just um, for such a good cause, raising money for children and a fantastic group of people. Um, Barney's not too bad. Um, some of the dirt roads, he's um, a little bit cautious, but um, just like a walking four-legged human. <laughs> dirt road and land as far as the eye can see, this is prime grazing territory. Of course, travelling through a cattle country requires a little bit of give and take, and you know who has right of way here? <laughs> it's beast versus machine and lucky for us the beasts have decided to let us pass wow well almost 
And we head for Julia Creek. It's time for Motor Trail entrants to refuel their vehicles and their stomachs and there's a quick auction at the local to raise more funds. Then it's time for another perfect sunset. It's the next day and leaving Julia Creek for the Gulf of Carpentaria, all the entrants are keen to get away. Although some are less enthusiastic about navigating. There's your sheet, there you go. You take them, you take them. Malungra Station is home to Acton Beef. It's the morning tea stop and time for some more fun and games. <laughs> then stopping at Ifley Station, a thousand dollar j for k donation presented by motor trail sponsor Engel Australia will help some local families affected by autism. We've been looking around for a little while at something like this and I guess in talking to some of the organisers we, we really like the fact that it's all done in the towns and it's out in people's backyards and on stations and, and there's no sort of big organisation behind it. It's, it's, it's much more personal and cheques get written and, and kids good things happen to kids in the towns we're in. The biggest thing would be just watching my daughter bouncing every time we get out and she's checking things out and yeah, the little one's always just so happy. I think that's it, just watching them that they're having a ball. Karumba, the road definitely stops here and a spectacular sunset stops everyone in their tracks. Next morning an excited Karumba State School welcomes the Just For Kids motor trail. Rod and Dave aren't overweight, just spreading the healthy eating message and raising funds along the way. Today is also rest day for the motor trail. First up, a picturesque river cruise with just a crock or two to keep everyone on edge. Well, not everyone. Yeah, it's nice to have the rest day and not be behind the wheel all day. Yeah. Oh, it's a good place to wind down for, for a day before we get on to the next, uh, next part of the, uh, the event. All aboard! It's time to get out of the water and back on track. The Gulf Lander will take us through 16 miles of the savannah and there's not a road in sight. This historic little train is one of the world's last great rail travel characters and can take you on a 152 kilometre journey from Normanton to Croydon. It's a great opportunity to see some amazing golf country and of course to perform the chicken dance. <laughs> Coming up, the motor trail discovers beautiful Cobalt Gorge. Then the journey ends at Port Hinchinbrook. The Just For Kids motor trail leaves the Gulf and heads for the finish line in Port Hinchinbrook. The last overnight stop is Cobalt Gorge and an afternoon boat cruise is a just reward for the weary entrance. Spectacular 30 metre cliffs appear either side of this narrow gorge. The experience is unforgettable. Tell us how this amazing gorge was formed. Well, it was formed uh, actually 170 million years ago. That's when the original rocks were laid down. Okay, during the Jurassic era, you've got a uh, representation of inland rivers and streams here. Okay, you can see the white particles of rock, the particles of quartz trapped in the sandstone. Very hard sedimentary rock. It's been fused together with the silica cement over millions of years. And the fault or the fracture in the rock, it opened up about 80 or 90 million years ago. I've had people from all over Australia and they'll probably say this is the most impressive gorge they've been in, probably because of its narrowness, uh, but also it's very tranquil as well. We try and be quiet, we don't have to say too much, just enough to fill the guests in on what a beautiful place Cobalt Gorge is. Do you know roughly how many kilometres you'll travel by the end of this when you get back home? Uh, we anticipate probably about 7,500 kilometres time we, we get do the trial and get back home again. Why? Why go so far? Oh, we enjoy it. It's a great opportunity to um, see the places that you wouldn't be able to see by yourself around here as well. I've got to see a lot of things that no one else would see if they came for a holiday here. On the road again next day and it's all engines go for the finishing line with a quick pit stop at the picturesque Blanco Falls before heading east to the coast to a setting sun. Well, the motor trail has reached its final destination here in Port Hinchinbrook. The Just For Kids charity leaving its footprint on many small communities along the way. So now it's time for the entrance to unwind and enjoy their rewards for a long journey travelled. Part of that reward, a short cruise to Hinchinbrook Island. It's a day to unwind, 
but some keen for a spot of fishing. And hey, now look at those teeth, look. <laughs> Ooh, you'll bite me. Oh, oh, you <laughs> and for others, it's just lounging around the pool. It's the last night of the motor trail and it's a farewell dinner that includes more fundraising through auctions and crab races, an awards night for some entrants and Kennedy State School receives a cheque for $1,500. But for the 25 entrants, their families and friends, tonight is a time to reflect on the last 10 days and rejoice in each other's company, knowing that they have made a real difference to some disadvantaged kids in many isolated communities. It's just the greatest time, the most fun, the people are great. It was fantastic. And the expression on a lot of the children's faces when we went, it made it really worthwhile. Really